Some of you may be familiar with this device. It's a $25 WiseCam, and it's a security device that you can place around your home and connect to an app on your Android or iPhone home to keep an eye on things around the house. Well, in light of COVID-19, the Wise company has decided to provide a firmware that will turn this into one of these because these, the webcam, are very difficult to come by nowadays because everybody wants one for their virtual home and their, their uh, work at home. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the firmware that was uh, provided by WISE. We'll go ahead and update this device, not this device, I actually have another one, but we're gonna update a device like this with the new firmware, and then we're gonna test and see how good of a webcam this old security cam can be. Okay, before we get started, let me show you the website that contains the information you need to convert your WISE cam to a webcam. This is at the support.wisecam.com website with a lot of information after the URL to actually get to the page. I will include the link to this page uh, below in the notes under this video and also on a blog, blog post that I've created for this process. It gives you, this page gives you a list of everything you need. You need the WiseCam webcam firmware, which we're going to download in a second, a 32 gigabyte micro SD, uh, WiseCam version two or WiseCam pan, which you could use for this process as well. We'll be using just the cam version two and a USB A to A cable. The process is listed here. This is exactly the process we will follow. However, I do have a short or truncated process list in a blog post that will associate this video, uh, be associated with this video, and that will be below as well. So you can take a look at that. And it's just a little shorter process uh, for those of you that may be a little bit more advanced and don't need quite the uh, detail that this provides. So if we scroll up, we'll be talking about some of these items that we need as we go through the process. But the first thing we need to do is grab the WiseCam firmware so I am not going to be using a cam pan. I do have several of those, but I do have a brand new uh, WiseCam Black that we'll be using. We'll talk about that in a minute. So I need the WiseCam version 2 firmware. You'll see that that pops up on my screen here, and I can save this as the webcam.zip. We're going to go ahead and save that. That download is complete. We'll go ahead and show that in the folder. And then the next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to unzip that or extract that file. So I'm going to take that, extract that here, and then you will find a um, folder called Viz Webcam, or I'm sorry, V2 Webcam. We double click there and that will have the information we need. So what we need to do now is we need to connect that or copy that over to a USB uh, micro USB card and I just happen to have a brand new 32 gigabyte USB card here. So we'll go over here to the other camera and we'll take a look at uh, getting that device prepared for this process. Okay, so we've got our firmware downloaded. Now we need to get that transferred over to this micro SD. It's interesting that the site says you have to have a 32 gigabyte card, but the, uh, the download itself is only about uh, 10 megabytes. I, I'm guessing you could probably get away without having a 32 uh, gigabyte card, but um, we're not gonna risk it for the sake of this video. Uh, there's our 32 gigabyte micro SD card. I do have a micro SD card reader right here. We'll go ahead and pop that in. This is already formatted, or it should be formatted for FAT32, so we should be good to go there. Let me get that in there. So I've got that there, and then I have my USB expansion here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in, and that should mount on my drive. So let's go back to our desktop here and see if we have a drive mounted. And you will see that right down here that we do have a 32, actually it says a 31 gigabyte volume. So according to the instructions, all we need to do is take these devices or these files here and copy that over to our 31 gigabyte volume. So let's go ahead and copy that. We'll click here, right click, and we will paste. And now we have those files copied. So we'll go ahead and uh, eject this device and we'll close this window. And now we'll go back to our uh, desktop here. So let me switch back. So now we're going to eject this device from here. We're gonna pull this out for now and lay that aside. And I just happen to have a handy dandy WiseCam Black that I've received. It's not even opened. So we'll get a chance to 
actually do a little unboxing in addition to our updating of the firmware. So we got that cut. Let me go ahead and open this up. I've not seen uh, the Wise Cam in black. I'm kind of anxious to see what it looks like in black. Um, I will show you uh, what's in here. So the box, we'll go ahead and set that aside. You do get the uh, instructions for the Wise Cam right there. Um, that, those are available. And of course, we don't need those because we're not going to be using it as it's designed as a security cam. Um, in this box here, we should have our USB cable, which is not the one. You cannot use this USB cable uh, to connect your Wise Cam as a webcam. So we'll talk about that in a minute when we get to the cabling, which I have one of those cables over here. So we'll set that aside, put that in the box. You also get uh, some desiccant tablets. You get this nice um, metal plate that you can use as a uh, mag. So the every Wise Cam has a magnetic bottom that will stick. And so if you wanted to mount that somewhere, you could easily stick up the cam on the wall. Okay, let's get rid of the desiccant packets here and uh, see what else we have inside here. We have, um, moving this out of the way, we have our USB connector for power, power adapter. So those are really handy. So if you're using this, as a traditional um, uh, webcam, you would plug this in and provide power to the device. And then finally, we have the webcam in black. Uh, these were, when I bought this, this was a special deal. You could on, only, I think, current um, purchasers of previous webcams or wise cams could get these. And uh, you can see this now. We'll go ahead and pull off, peel off the. Uh, protective uh, plastic there and here's the two side by side so here's the white one here's the black one I just thought that um, you know using it in black just seemed like that would be a lot more fun as a webcam since most webcams are black also so that's why I chose the black this uh, will work on either of these devices both of these are as you can see wise cam version 2's that is important it does have to be the version 2 this is the version 2 uh, regular, and this is the version 2 black. All right. So the next thing we're supposed to do is insert the SD card into the webcam. And that's really interesting. That's under here. So you may think to look back here. This is the USB cable uh, for USB-A. This is the micro USB that plugs into there when you use it as traditional power. Um, and I believe that is the microphone. Uh, but if you look underneath and move this, I don't, some of you may not know, but you have this really neat stand that it can stand and sit and rotate and you can just get all the different views you need in conjunction with the plate that's metallic that I showed you earlier. So that's how that works. So a little introduction to the Wise Cam itself. But if you look underneath, this is where you insert the SD card. So we are going to go ahead and do that. I am going to do something I don't like to do, which is get a little tool to push that in there. There we go. Just enough so that I get the click right in there. Now, according to the next steps, what we need to do now is not connect the micro SD cable, but we need to connect a USB-A to USB-A cable. I believe it or not, with everything I have, I did not have a usb type A to type A. So I had to purchase those cables. Uh, there's a link in the show notes um, and there is a, a link in the information below so that I had a USB A to USB A connection. All right, we've got the little bread ties off and we are going to plug this end first into here like that. And then the next thing we're going to do, now I have a six foot cable, so it's pretty long. I'm going to plug this into here. That will give us power into um, this device. So it's actually providing power right now. It is probably trying to use its old firmware. So let me go back to my instructions here. It says, press and hold the setup button, then plug your USB power. So let's go ahead and unplug that. Let's go ahead and pull this back here. The little setup button is right here. If you can see that, 
It's a little piece of plastic. Uh, looks like it's connected to a micro switch underneath. So I want to hold that. It should make a little click. It does. And so I'm going to hold that. I'm going to plug it in and then hold for three to six seconds until the light is solid blue. So I'm not sure what light. Oh, there we go. It looks like it's solid blue. It says wait three to four minutes. All right, it looks like it's uh, rebooting. Uh, it is flashing. The light is flashing now. It says once complete, the status light will flash yellow and blue at the same time, not alternating. Well, actually, it looks like maybe it is flashing. So it looks like the firmware uh, has been completed, the update. All right, so let me go ahead and um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to set up the computer that I'm using. And uh, what we're going to do is instead of using this webcam right here, we're going to see if we can use this webcam. So that worked flawlessly. After I updated the firmware, I'm now using that black Wisecam as a webcam. And this is the quality that you get. It is an HD camera. You'll notice a wider field of view. Um, but um, overall, it's a great webcam and you would be able to use it. It does give you a little bit of that. Uh, that wide angle look so it is going to show a lot more of your room probably than a normal webcam so make sure you clean up unlike what I did before I put this online uh, but it does look like it will work just fine as a webcam so one of the other things that happens when you update the firmware on the Wisecam it is also activates the microphone in the Wisecam to be used as part of the webcam feature let's take a listen and see what that sounds like Well, as you can tell, I was not very successful with the audio. The audio was unusable, basically. So for my use case, uh, it looks like you would need a separate USB microphone or another device that has a microphone. Now, granted, I'm using a Linux device, uh, Linux box. I'm using elementary OS. I have not tried it on a Mac or Windows. It does say Linux not supported, so it might work on a Mac device or a Windows device. Uh, I would encourage you if you have done this update and you have one of those devices, uh, one of those PCs, uh, drop a comment below and say, hey, Stephen, it did work when I used my Mac or my Windows PC. It's just a, a Linux glitch right now. So I do have a Mac in the corner over here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take the webcam and we're going to test it on a Mac to see if the audio is any better on the Mac. One of the other things we're going to test is um, when you apply the firmware, it also activates the speaker that's within the camera. So we will test that as well. Okay, well, okay, no, my, 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 my. Well, as you can hear, the microphone is only about that much better on a Mac. Let's go ahead and run some more tests on the speaker that's built into the Wisecam. They have activated the speaker, so what I've done is loaded up uh, one of my YouTube videos. We're going to play it. I'm going to turn up the volume here for you so that you can hear it. And this will give you a little bit of quality uh, check okay, well, on what it sounds like. Now, so this is me talking uh, from a YouTube video. Saturated my uh, PC. So basically, I'm running Linux with Elementary OS, and I have so many USB devices. So what I've noticed is there is latency. It does not sync with what I am seeing on the screen. So I'm going to set that up so that you can see that. Okay, if you watch closely, you'll notice that the sound is not synced with my lips. Here we go. Here's a test. And even when I change the volume, you'll notice that the clicks on the screen will not coincide with the sound you hear. So those are some pretty mixed results. I would not rely on this webcam to provide audio in any kind. I think the video is fine. I would worry a little bit about the latency, but I would not probably try and use either the microphone or the 
uh, speaker on either a Linux machine, definitely not a Linux machine, Mac, definitely not either because you still can't hear what the other person is saying. Again, I can't test Windows. I would love to see if somebody could provide some feedback on Windows. However, uh, if you just need video, I think the device is okay. This is where it's just kind of troublesome that Wise won't continue to refine that firmware. I would love to see them. I'm going to appeal to them to continue to refine that firmware because even now when we need these cameras the most, if we could make that microphone and that speaker work now when we need it more than ever, that would be the best thing to do wise. So keep developing that firmware wise cam.